What's up guys, Alex here and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to show you some amazing quality of life settings that everybody should enable on their Google Pixel devices in order to improve the experience of using your phone and just make everything better. And the very first thing we're going to do is to stop those annoying spam calls. And to enable it, what you want to do is open up your phone app right there. Tap on the three lines over here, go to settings and where it says color ID and spam, make sure that this setting is enabled. And now every time you get a phone call your phone will run that number against a database of stored spam or scam numbers that google has and notify you if you're getting a call from a potential scammer so that you can go ahead and just ignore that phone call or just go ahead and block it entirely now you know how when you get a notification on your phone it kind of pops down for a couple of seconds and then it goes away well sometimes you might not have enough time to read what that notification says and if you want to be able to have them stay on the screen a little bit longer there's a setting that you can change by going into your phone settings swiping down to accessibility swipe down until you see timing controls and right there under time to take action you can set it to 10 seconds 30 seconds a minute or even two minutes obviously you probably don't need two minutes but i suggest having it maybe 10 or even 30 seconds just so you have enough time to maybe take your phone out of your pocket and read that notification without having to tap into it next what we're going to do is back in our settings go to sound and vibration and swipe down until you see clear calling right there and make sure that you enable clear calling. This is disabled by default, but when you enable it, your phone will now reduce background noises during phone calls. So if anybody ever calls you or you call somebody else and you're in a loud environment, maybe there's kids screaming behind you or construction going around or you're walking near a highway, your phone will identify all of those background noises and reduce them, making it easy for the person you're talking to to hear your voice. And that's just going to improve the quality of your phone calls and make it so that the person on the other side of the phone isn't constantly asking you to repeat yourself because of all the background noise going on around you. Now, while we're here, just go back to the sound and vibration settings, swipe up until you see vibration and haptics, and enable this feature that says vibrate first then ring gradually i absolutely love this feature because if you were maybe in a loud environment in the middle of your day maybe you were out and about and you brought your ringtone and volumes all the way up and now the day has ended and you're going to sleep but you forgot to bring those volumes back down if you ever get a notification or a random phone call at night it is going to absolutely blast through your speakers and scare the crap out of you so enabling this feature will have your phone vibrate first and then just gradually increase the volume until you answer the phone instead of absolutely blaring through your speakers immediately so definitely an amazing quality of life feature that i suggest everybody enable now, one of the most annoying things that happens with a phone is if you're reading a long article or you're just looking at a photo, if you are not interacting with your phone, it will dim and auto lock on you. And in order to finish reading whatever it is that you're reading, you have to keep tapping on your screen to keep it awake. Well, to fix this, what you want to do is go into your phone settings, go to display and touch, go to screen timeout and enable screen attention. And right here it says prevents your screen from turning off if you're looking at it. So now your phone will use the selfie camera to see that you are looking at the phone. You might be reading something or looking at a picture and it will no longer time out and lock on you. And now you have the benefit of your phone locking when you're not using it to save battery, but also staying unlocked when you're actually reading something or looking at a photo. The next quality of life improvement we're going to make is to create custom ringtones for our contacts. And I definitely suggest doing this for people you talk to most often, maybe family members or your boss, so that you know that they are calling you just by the ringtone that you hear. So to do this, go to your phone app, tap on the three lines up here, go to settings and scroll down to contact ringtones. And now just go through your entire list of contacts, select the contact that you want to add a ringtone for, and just go through the list of all of the ringtones that are provided for you here. And then just pick whichever one you like, then just tap save. And that's it. Now you will have a custom ringtone for that specific contact and you will know right away who is calling you just by the sound. All right, guys, the next quality of life improvement we're going to make is to the keyboard because there's definitely some settings that you're going to want to change. And by default, you can see that there is no number row here, which can definitely be really annoying, especially if you're typing out an address and you need to use both numbers and letters. You're going to have to keep switching between the primary and secondary keyboard in order to type that out, which can definitely be super annoying. But we can bring up the number row in here just by going into settings, going to preferences and right there, just enable the number row. And while we're in here, also swipe down and enable long press for symbols. And now you can see when we go back to our keyboard, we now have that number line right there and we can easily access 
numbers and letters without having to go into that secondary keyboard. And that other setting we enabled will also give us access to secondary characters on our letters. So if you ever need a dollar sign, you can just long press the D and you will get the dollar sign. If you need the maybe plus sign, you can long press the J and you'll have a plus sign. If you need an asterisk or quotes or an at, you can see it's all accessible directly from the main keyboard and you no longer have to go into that secondary keyboard and keep flipping back and forth. Everything is accessible to you directly from the main keyboard, which just makes typing messages or sending emails so much better. All right, guys, this next setting that you need to know about is the ability to pause apps. And I absolutely love how easy Google made it to do this because if you're trying to focus on work and maybe you keep getting distracted by YouTube or maybe you're in an argument with your significant other and you guys just keep texting each other back and forth and you can't get any work done, you can pause the specific app to not be distracted by it anymore. And to do that, if you want to maybe pause YouTube, just long press on it and press pause app. And you can see the app is now grayed out and you're no longer going to get notifications from the app. If you want to do the same thing for maybe messages, you don't want to argue with your significant other anymore. You can do the same thing right there. You can see it gets grayed out and you're no longer going to get notifications from that app and you won't even be able to access it because you can see it's paused. And then later when you're not busy anymore or you've done whatever it is that you need to do, you can of course go ahead and unpause the app and access everything all over again. So definitely a really cool feature. All right guys, now for this last quality of life setting, what you'll be able to do is to create pass keys for your accounts so that you no longer need to remember any of your specific passwords. We all have hundreds and hundreds of accounts that we've created over the years and we just can't remember the passwords for all of them. But now you don't have to because what you can do instead is go into your phone settings, swipe down to passwords, pass keys and accounts, tap Google, go to Google password manager and up here you'll get a notification that says that you can create pass keys for certain accounts. So tap try it and then you'll see any of your eligible accounts so you can see i have adobe and paypal for which i do not already know the passwords for if i wanted to access these accounts i would have to go through the whole password reset process but what you can do instead is create pass keys and if you want to see what this looks like you can hit the pass key demo right there and essentially it'll just show you how all of this works when we create an account on a new website we usually have to create an account which is usually our email and then a password associated with that and then when we hit sign in your phone will ask you to create a pass key and when you tap create pass key all you need to do is put in your fingerprint to authenticate yourself and now it will create that passkey and the next time that you need to log in to that account all you need to do is just put your fingerprint and it will pull the email and password associated with that account from your secure google password manager so that you never need to actually remember those passwords yourself definitely an amazing quality of life feature that everybody should get to know but there you go guys that is going to do it for this video of some amazing quality of life improvements that i think everybody should make on their google phones i hope Hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and i'll see you in the next one peace